How to create a hexagon shape in Photoshop. Go to the polygon tool, select that and click the document. Set the width and height, I'm going to go with 600 and 600. Number of sides, 6. Star ratio set to 100%, click OK. And there is your hexagon shape. With the polygon tool still selected, you can go up here, you've got the shape option. You've also got here 6, that's the number of sides. Click here for the settings, star ratio set to 100% and you can apply it. Just drag and release. And there's your hexagon shape again. You can also, as you drag, hold down the shift key. And then you can create a variety of different shapes and release. That's still a hexagon shape. However, you can also create a hollow one. So I'm just going to quickly create a hollow one. So here's the first shape. Go to the move tool and drag and hold down the alter option key or of course just go to the polygon tool and create another polygon and you can see you've got now a second polygon or hexagon shape and resize and you can create a variety of different sizes you can position it where you want to you can also select all of the shapes all selected and go up here and align them if you wish so click there and there once you've done that, go down here and you've got the Pass Selection tool. With the Pass Selection tool, I'm going to use that in a second. But before you go any further, you need to merge the shapes. So I'm just going to go here and down to, on the right side, Merge Shapes. So right side of the Layers panel, Merge Shapes, and you've got it now in a single shape. However, it's not completely done. There is a few other steps. So with this Pass Selection tool, what you can do, you can actually select that and still continue to move it around, drag it outwards if you wish. But you can also go up here, got these options here, the Set Options, or Path Options, <laughs> now, they keep changing the name. So there, and select Subtract Front Shape. So select that, and there you've now got your hollow design. You can still move it around, still select that, and still reposition it if you wish to do that. However, what you can do, if you want to, just go up here and merge shape components and that will finalise it. You will not be able to move it around or do anything afterwards. So merge shape components and then it's been merged into a single shape. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.